This video is all about setup tips for your FortiGate and we are starting right now. To get more easy setup tips for your FortiGate firewall, subscribe now and don't forget to click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. One of the most common questions that I get every time is how do I set up my FortiGate? I'm not interested currently in any intrusion prevention system sensors. I'm not interested in IPsec VPNs. I just have several interfaces connected to different clans and I need to set up my FortiGate for a truly a basic operation. So in this video we will look at the basic basic setup configuration uh, as you know in my channel you have tons of videos that deals with different aspects of your 48 so the very first thing is to um, set up your administrative profile you are probably the super admin of your FortiGate. So make sure that you connect through trusted host. Uh, if you need up to set up a new admin, maybe a professional admin that will be responsible for another virtual domain or different aspects of your FortiGate, do it. So the next thing to do is to move over to network interfaces. You probably have different LANs connected to different interfaces in your 48. In each interface, don't forget to write down an alias. It will help identifying which LAN belongs to which interface. Use a specific roles for specific interfaces. Use administrative protocols carefully. Don't just let anyone ping from that interface if it is not needed. Use DHCP server and use DHCP server scopes so you can create different DHCP options for that local area network. You can block specific MAC addresses from receiving IP addresses. Uh, and use device detection and active scanning. You want to know which devices initiate traffic on that interface. Now the next thing to do is to create or configure a static route that will lead to your ISP. Now it is usually uh, created using the default route, which actually means uh, that any packet that is destined to anywhere and it does not have any entry in the routing table should head up towards the specific gateway which is usually the WAN gateway. The next thing to do is policy and objects. That is the bread and butter of your 48 firewall. It is where you create rules, rules that match any traffic that comes in or gets out of your 40 gate. Assuming that it matches the traffic, you have two decisions. The first one is to accept, the second one is to deny. Now you can create different policies according to different topologies. The basic, the basic policy is the full access policy, which allows local area network to get out to the internet through the WAN interface. So incoming interface can be just about any LAN in your uh, network. The outgoing is the WAN interface. Source can be different users' devices, but let's assume that we deal with just about anyone. Destination also can be specific destination, but let's assume that any destination is allowed. You can set up different scheduling and services. Now, again, you can deny specific protocols, but for our case, we will allow any service. Now, the learned policy is another topic that I have 
made a video specifically on that, but that's not the issue right now. Now, whenever FortiGate matches the traffic, the next decisions are, are we uh, going to log the traffic? Are we going to net the traffic? Net is also a very, uh, I would say, not difficult, but it is a tough topic to understand. Uh, and then it implies the security profiles, which can be antivirus web filtering, IPS, and so on. And our last setup is actually moving on to the login report and see whatever happens in your 40 gate. Now, there's a lot of happening whenever a traffic comes in and gets out, whenever an admin logs in into one of the interfaces, whenever there's a VPN tunnel that initiates or stops working. You need to uh, maximize your understanding on what is happening on your network and the best thing to do is to look at the login report and understand your network baseline.